Hey everyone, my name is Christine Javier, and today I'm going to work on Free Code Camp's title case a sentence algorithm, where essentially you're feeding into the title case function here um, a string, and the string is basically a sentence. You're going to um, capitalize every single first letter of every word. Um, all right, so let's go work on that. I'm just going to copy this function here and work on my text editor. All right, so we have this function. So title case takes in, um, a or it has a parameter of str, which is the string. So I'm gonna want to uh, calculate every word of the string. And in order to do that, I want to transform it into an array. So you do that by using something called the split method. All right, now um, let's just console.log this argument here, just so you know what's what the split looks like right now and how we're going to have to change the split method in a second. All right, so you see now that um, with the syntax here of the two quotes just next to each other like that, what we're doing is we're targeting every single character of this argument here and separating it. Um, so what we want to do instead is target every individual word and separate the words from each other. In order to do that, you just need to add in a space in the split method. Let's run that again. Great. So you see that we've targeted every single word like we wanted. Awesome. So now the next goal in mind is to um, work on each word and transform it, su uh, transform it such that the very first letter is capitalized. And what I'd like to do is use the map method because that saves me from having to write the loop. And in order to make use of the map method, I want to create a brand new array. I'm just going to call this array the answer array. And there you go. And instead of returning str, let's go ahead and return answer. Cool. So let's go use the map method. So use map method like this. You get that new array, set it equal to uh, what, we want to what we want to iterate through, which is this array here, which is str, in other words and you're just gonna write in map like that. Now what goes inside map could either be an anonymous function uh, whereby every uh, index of uh, str, every element, uh, gets cranked through the function and is outputted into answer. However, um, I like to separate my functions just for readability. So I'm just gonna create a brand new function that we're gonna put into map. I'm gonna call this capitalize. Now, what we need an input here. I'm just going to put input of X. All right. Now let's see what we want to do. So um, what's going to happen here is that every single word is going to be uh, put into capitalize and transform somehow. So what you want to do first is target the character that we want to transform, which is the very first character of every single word. I'm going to declare a variable called um, original letter and you're gonna set that equal to the very first character of the word x dot char at character zero good and then um, then we want to transform it right to make it uppercase so we're gonna call it of uh, our um, capital letter and you're gonna set that to original letter uh, but capitalize, so you're going to use to uppercase. Cool. And uh, so we have that. Now the goal is we want to replace the original letter with capital letter. So we could use something called the replace method. We'll set um, x equal to x dot replace. You're replacing the original letter with the capital letter. All right. And now you're just going to return x. Now let's test to make sure that this function even works. I'm just going to console.log capitalize with the argument of hello. Hello should now, the H in hello should be capitalized. Good. As you can see, it works. And um, all this red right here is just indicating to me that map needs that um, function input there. So for this, you're simply going to add in capitalize. And again, instead of capitalize, you could have literally written out this function inside of here anonymously, so without the capitalize uh, declaration here. Uh, but again, I just like the readability of this. All right, so now this line 
what's essentially happening is we're going to iterate through every word in the str array. And because of map, we're uh, going to apply the capitalized function to every element of that array and set it equal to the answer array here. Um, all right, so let's see. Um, let's see, answer, is that good? I think, yeah, we need to, we need to join answer equals answer dot join. Now, let's, uh, let's see what's going to happen to I'm a little teapot now. All right, so similarly to the split method, uh, we want to make sure that we're targeting each individual word. So you add in that space. All right, so that should work. Let's add it into free code camp and run it to see if it passes. All right, uh, something's not right. Ah, okay. So I see what's happening. So essentially the inputs can be funky. You want to make every single letter lowercase except for the very first letter of the words, which have to be capitalized. So let's go ahead and just uh, fix that up really quick. Um, the thing you want to, the, in order to um, account for the, the funky inputs that you might receive, you just want to already transform the string immediately so that it's all uniform. And from there, you could uh, transform it the way we did. In other words, you want to make all the letters lowercase initially. So all you need to do is set str, the input, equal to itself, but to at a lower case. There you go. All right, so it still outputs the same. Let's check to make sure this function works again. All right. Awesome. So it passes. Uh, but really quick, what I want to do is let's um, let's make this a little cleaner. It doesn't have to be this bulky. And um, let's see. All right. So I'm going to put this var answer um, array at the top. Notice here that uh, we have str equal to an action. And then once this is transformed into an array, we're going to then, um, oh, excuse me, once it's a uh, lowercase, once we lowercase the string, we're going to want to turn it into an array. And so we don't, we just have to make sure that the progress happens the same, but we don't need two lines of it. So in other words, I'm just going to do this. Now, the thing with this line right here is you can't split before you lowercase it because splitting it will turn it into an array and this lowercase here only applies to strings. So it has to be in this order. All right, similarly, we could do that with answer. Yeah, all right. And again, the same logic applies. We want to uh, get every element of the str array, um, apply the capitalized function to it, and then we're gonna join that array together. All right. All right, and that should still work. Let's check it out. There you go. So same difference, slightly cleaner. And, you know, I personally, I really like playing around with these methods. I think it's a good practice for any developer because, I mean, hey, we, why, why you always write out a for loop when you have these awesome built-in methods for you? All right, so hopefully that helps you out. Have a good day.